with the banana. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> is that going to be like in the beginning now? Oh, no, we'll see. <laughs> see what editing is done. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Two Finger Pour. My name is Diego. And I'm Chelsea. Today is May 30th, and this marks official Mint Julep Day. Woo! So in the grand tradition of Mint Julep Day, we of course are bringing you mint juleps. We are doing a classic mint julep for you, and then three variations that we created on a mint julep. So before we actually dive into this, we just wanted to hit a couple really fun mint julep facts that are our personal favorite. Absolutely. So the mint julep, everybody knows the Kentucky Derby. So in 1938, it was deemed the official drink of the Kentucky Derby. And also every year for those two days during the Kentucky Derby, over 120,000 mint juleps are sold just in those two days. Seriously? Yeah, I swear. That's crazy. Wouldn't lie to you. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but what's really fun about all those mint juleps that are sold is the price range on them is crazy. They go from $15 to $2,500. And when you get into up, up into those really expensive mint juleps, they actually, a lot of the proceeds from that go directly to charity, which is really, really cool. Super neat. So if you're in Kentucky, check out that mint julep, drop a couple thousand, <laughs> donate to charity. <laughs> Hell yeah. So everybody grab your shot. Oh, are ready to make some juleps? Yeah, let's do this. All right. Yeah, sounds good. Our first cocktail, of course, is going to be the classic mint julep. It's very, very, very easy to build. There are a couple different ways to create this cocktail, but we like to build it from the ground up as opposed to putting it in a shaker. So we're going to start with two ounces of bourbon. We, of course, chose Woodford for this one. And you're gonna pour that right into your glass. Then you wanna grab some mint and just go ahead and give that a quick tear. You never want to muddle your mint because when you muddle your mint, it does become very, very bitter. So then we're going to grab our simple syrup and do 0.75 ounces of that. And then we're going to grab our crushed ice. And you want to fill that up just partially and then you grab your swizzle stick. Stick that down to the bottom, give that a quick swizzle. and then fill the rest up with crushed ice. So really make sure to pack that ice in there so you have a really nice crown on top. Then you're going to take your mint sprigs. Make sure you take off the bottom of that. You don't want an entire tree. Stick that right in the middle. And of course, no julep is complete without powdered sugar. So happy mint julep day. Oh, love me a mint julep. All right guys, so up next we have an original julep cocktail. Um, we're gonna stick with that uh, bourbon component and we are using redemption bourbon for this one. Um, we're gonna do two ounces of the bourbon. And then what makes this cocktail different, we're switching up the sweetness component. We are using orange tangerine syrup. We're gonna do 0.5 of that. and then 0.25 of honey syrup, which we made in the house tonight. It's literally just 50% honey, 50% water, boiled, stirred, and then that's how you make that. And then also, please don't forget your mint, just a handful of mint right there. Just gonna tear that like we did in the other mint julep. Tear it all up. You get a little bit of ice. We're gonna give that a swizzle. Swizzled up. We're just gonna pack it in with some ice. You want that crushed ice and you wanna get that dome like we did in the first mint julep in the classic one. Spilling some ice, no big deal. Just toss it away. Alright, and then we're gonna add a dehydrated tangerine. Ooh. Ooh. 
and also a honeycomb, which I actually personally love. So those are gonna, oh, let's stack that like that. We're gonna give this a try right now. Ooh, absolutely amazing. Orange tangerine, really compliments the bourbon. Super, super good. I love the honey syrup. Great cocktail, guys. Definitely one to try. Next, we're gonna break out of the bourbon world and slide into that Irish world. So of course, we're using Jameson instead of bourbon. This one is called James and the Giant Banana. We're gonna start with two ounces of Jameson. And then our sweet component is going to be Monin Vanilla Cream at 0.5 ounces of that. And then your banana liqueur at 0.25 ounces. Of course, don't forget that little handful of mint. Give that a tear. And grab our trusty swizzle stick. and pack that with ice. Now for all of these juleps, you do wanna use crushed ice to get that nice dome and get the proper dilution. Two nice little mint sprigs in there. And also a dehydrated lemon. I love about this cocktail is with that sprig of mint right there, you get a shot of mint flavor right in the nose, and then it finishes off really silky with that vanilla cream and then a hint of banana, but it needs a little more. So we're gonna take our atomizer and do two sprays of banana liqueur over the top. So now when you try it, ah, oh, that really nice banana and mint, I'm drooling, that's embarrassing. Give this one a shot. James and the Giant Banana. All right guys, closing it up for the evening, we have our final cocktail. It's called the Rhinoceros. And with a goofy name like that, you know Chelsea came up with it. We are using Jack Rye whiskey. With the Jack Rye, it will kick up that spicy level a bit. We're gonna start off with two ounces of Rye Jack. And then we have two, one ounce, uh, sorry, 0.5 ounces of our peach syrup. and then 0.25 ounces of our St. George Spiced Pear Liqueur. Please don't forget that mint. And again, you wanna rip it into shreds. Then you wanna give that a swizzle. Swizz, swizz, swizzle my nizzle. Once that's all swizzled up, something about this crushed ice just might make a mess with it. I don't know. And then for garnish, we have a dehydrated pear. We're gonna lay that right on top. All right, so we're gonna give this one a try. Rhinoceros. Ooh, that's super good. Spiciness from the rye, sweetness from the peach. Really great cocktail, guys. Definitely one you should try. But honestly, that Jameson one, that's my number one. So I'm gonna go drink to finish that, all right? In closing, we wanted to say thank you so much for celebrating Mint Julep Day with us. Honestly, guys, these were some of my favorite cocktails I've ever had, especially the original ones, the one with the Jameson and the one with the honey syrup. Great cocktails, so if you get a chance to make those at home, please do. They are honestly amazing, amazing cocktails. And if you'd like to follow us on social media, we are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Two Finger Pour. All one word. So please be friends with us on social media. We love social media friends. We really do. And also, please don't hit, forget to hit that subscribe button right over there in the corner. We would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And of course, if you love this video, please give us that thumbs up. We would also greatly appreciate that. If you dislike this video and you chose to give us a sad thumbs down, which we... Hope you didn't, but if you do, please let us know in the comments why you did choose to give us that sad thumbs down because we would greatly love to make these videos better for you guys. So, ready to drink some juleps? Oh yeah, of course. I've <laughs> You've been drinking been juleps. Drinking them, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Honestly, try this one. <laughs>